This is Rose Robertson, a British spy who later set up Parent Inquiry, a helpline for parents of gay children. First I put an ad in the local paper and I got a number of replies. However, when I invited them to get together, I got no response. And nearly all the letters I received asked me to recommend a cure, a pill by return of post. Paul Dankwa was a TV presenter and British film actor. Is my ring still round your neck? Well, wear it then. Pretty uh, neck you've got. Let me put it on. I got it in Woolworths. Arthur Gore, 8th Earl of Arran, House of Lords Peer. This is no occasion for jubilation. Certainly not for celebration. Any form of ostentatious behaviour. Now or in the future. Any form of public flaunting. Would be utterly distasteful and would. I believe. Make the sponsors of the bill regret that they have done what they have done. Homosexuals must continue to remember that while there may be nothing bad in being a homosexual, there is certainly nothing good. Geoffrey Dudgeon, MBE. Northern Irish politician, historian, and gay activist. I knew all about homosexuality, and by my mid-teens, I had ascertained that fact about myself. But I just didn't know how to meet other people and I was petrified at the very thought of it. You just couldn't say the words to anyone. Ted Brown is a black gay activist. Growing into a teenager and realising I was sexually attracted to guys made me really apprehensive about the future. I did know that if I ever identified as homosexual, I was liable to be treated as an outcast, insulted, physically attacked or even imprisoned. I first became aware of the Gay Liberation Front in 1969, when I was 19 years old. After reading a short and flippantly condescending article in another Sunday newspaper which joked that queers were setting up a protest group, I cartwheeled all around the living room. This is Joan Armitrading, she's a British singer, songwriter and guitarist. People who like my music have a legitimate interest in me. But I need to retain some privacy, not to be telling people what's going on or what I feel. When you go home, it's beautiful because of the people you want to include in it and because it's personal to you. Alan Horsfall, 1927 to 2012, was a gay campaigner, founder and life president of CHE, the Campaign for Homosexual Equality. It was my view that politicians' view of widespread working class hostility to gays was a myth and that myth had to be exploded. I put a motion in my local party and the ward committee absolutely refused to discuss it. The committee executives were horrified and came out with a parade of excuses to the contention that it wasn't something that could be discussed in mixed company. Tony Warren, the creator of Coronation Street. In those days, if you were going to work in television and you were gay... You had to be three times as good as anyone else. First Coronation Street writing team contains some of the biggest homophobes I've ever seen. The outsider sees more, hears more, and has to remember more to survive. All that is terrific training for a writer. Mm -hmm.